Now that you are in a deep trance, we are going to give you a trigger, or reinforce it if you already have it. The trigger phrase is I am a parrot. If you use this trigger phrase, or if someone that you are okay with triggering you says the trigger phrase you are a parrot, you will undergo the transformation that you are about to experience at whatever speed you want. Additionally, you will instantly turn back into a human if you use the reset phrase I am not a parrot, or if someone that you are okay with resetting you says the reset phrase you are not a parrot. Now your transformation will begin. First, feel a tingling sensation over your entire body as feathers start to grow, consuming any hair that you have as they do so. Most of your feathers are long and red, but all of the feathers on your face are short, and every other feather on your face is white. Then, you feel more feathers growing on the outer side of your arms. They start out pointing straight back near your shoulders, but gradually rotate in the directions of your arms and get smaller the further out they are so that the last ones are only 3 inches long and point straight in the direction of the arm that they are on. The first layer of them is as long as your torso is tall, and are all blue. The layer on top of them is half as long as the first, and while the half of them closer to your shoulders are yellow, the others are blue. Also, there is a third layer on top of them that is half as long as the second one, and the half of them that is closer to your shoulders is red while the other half of them is blue. After that, you feel your lower lip stretch out three inches. Then, you feel your nose and upper lip fuse together and stretch out so that they are two inches longer than your lower lip and so that they become narrower and shorter as they curve downwards. Once the curve is past your lower lip, it starts to go below the top of your lower lip until it is halfway down it, at which point it ends in a sharp point that points straight down. As this happens, your nose and lips become a hard and durable material, leaving you with a strong beak. Also, the upper part of your beak turns pale brown while the lower part turns black. Next, the feathers on your feet fall out revealing that smooth black scales have taken the place of the old skin and nails of your feet. Then, the middle toe on each of your feet, as well as the two outer ones, go numb as they quickly shrink away and disappear. Now, long tail feathers grow from the back side of your waist. They are a bit longer than your legs are, and angled slightly up from straight down. The top half of the feathers are blue, and the bottom half is red. Also, there are a few feathers on each side that are half as long as the others. After that, talons start to grow out of the front side of each of your toes. They are made of a black material that is hard and durable, and their bases are each one-third as wide as the toe that they are on and half as tall as that toe. Also, they are horizontally and vertically centered on the toe that they are on. They are a third of an inch long and gradually curve down and get narrower and thinner so that they each end in a dangerously sharp point that is level with the bottom of the toe that they are on and points straight down. Despite the fact that your new talons are dangerously sharp, you will never attempt to use them for anything, especially combat. Now, your muscle memory is changing, making it so that when standing or walking or even jumping, you have to rest your weight on your toes, bend your feet up as much as possible, and crouch your legs. While your altered muscle memory already makes walking and standing like this easy, it is made easier by your lengthening feet and shrinking lower legs. They change size at the same rate until your lower legs are as short as your feet used to be and your feet are as long as your lower legs used to be. These changes combined with your altered muscle memory make walking and standing on your toes, or walking digitigrade as it is called, feel completely natural to you as if you have done it for your entire life. That being said, your muscle memory and your legs and feet won't actually change, but you will be incapable of not perceiving yourself as having a digitigrade leg and foot structure and won't be able to understand any logic when it is applied in a way that directly suggests that you don't have a digitigrade leg and foot structure. Then, the ends of your feet narrow so that your toes all come from the same spot. After that, Two more identical back-facing toes grow on each foot from where the other two connect to your feet. One of them faces diagonal back right, while the other one faces diagonal back left. Finally, each effect of this hypnosis file will become inactive if that effect is a risk to your physical body or your well-being, if it is a risk to your social or professional life, if there is an emergency that it would prevent you from dealing with to the best of your abilities, or if it is a risk to your mental health. Also. Any effect of this hypnosis file that was an issue will become active again once it no longer will be one.
Additionally, you will never find this hypnosis file or the effects of it to be even slightly addicting. Now you have been transformed into an anthro parrot, and have a wonderfully colorful set of feathers. This session is almost over, so goodbye, my colorful friend.